hey, hey, pirates. Guess what? It's Practical Cure and Web, and we are back for another episode of, you guessed it, the Pirate 101 Witch Doctor Walkthrough, guys. And we have made some extreme progress, or some really great progress, I think. I am super excited about where we're going, guys. I think we might be able to get our commission. We have broken the back of the Armada here in the Marleybone Invasion. We took down Rook, their biggest opponent. We saved Captain Nelson, which that was a touch-and-go situation there. And now it's time to talk to Admiral Dockett in the War Room. And maybe, maybe now we're going to get that commission we have been going after here for most of the... um most of our visit here to Marleybone. Plus, I feel like we helped, you know, solve some problems with the little bit of mess that we made prior to this, right? Okay, dog it. Admiral Nelson, I presume. What is the word? The word is victory. Rook is defeated. Outstanding. Oh, yeah. Smashing. Simply smashing. With Rook down, they'll be regrouping for weeks. No doubt Johnny Clockwork will keep up the fight, but my dear Nelson, you've turned the tide of the war. Me? Never. The captain here pulled my fat out of the fire and laid Rook low. The selfsame captain saved the Isle of Fetch and smashed Beachhead. By thunder! I'd say you've earned the commission you came for ten times over. There we go. That's what I like to hear. So be it. Captain? I hereby commission you the rank of Captain Irregular in the Royal Navy of the Kingdom of Marleybone. Well done. Now for your first mission. <laughs> oh, come off it. This captain's already done more to win this war than any ten dogs wearing the royal blue. Let our boys do some of the work. Captain, you're a raider. I can see it in your eyes. Better to put this one on detached duty, I think. I would not presume to debate you, Admiral Nelson. That is why. And now, young captain, I bid you go forth and fight the Armada. But as you go, there are three things which you must bear in mind. First, always obey your orders. Second, consider anyone your enemy who speaks ill of the Queen. Third, hate any clockwork as you do the devil. Oh, those are three easy ones to go with. Well, let's get back to the glass house. We've got our uh, officer to pick up. Indeed. Well, good luck and good hunting. Fantastic, guys. Marleybone. I, li I like Marleybone. I wonder if there's any other quests that are kind of waiting around. Rolling Stones. Yeah, I gotta do those. No more quests. I have, like, gone all of them done. Except for a few things here and there. Well, very good. Very good. I hope everybody's doing great. I am doing super excellent. Guys, I just want to remind you, if you haven't hit that like button, hit that subscribe button yet for this episode, make sure you do that. Um, and if you have, thank you so much for doing that. Two free things you can do that really help support the channel. And if you got any great insights, like we had some really great insights from Toby on the last video about, well, about um, reminding me how that dungeon worked. Of course, I, I remembered how most of it worked towards the end of the fight and everything. But there we go. There we go. Okay, so we have to go talk to Mr. Swidget over here into the glass house. Room 6, I believe. And I think we'll finally get that piece of the map we're after. Because, you know, let's be honest with you, this is all um, deals inside of deals inside deals. In fact, we did get some more training companion points. So let's go ahead and do that. I've been buying companion training points as possible to try to raise these guys' level. So we're at the point where we're raising up level 58s now. So that's awesome. So let's go ahead and raise up Old Scratch to level 61 fantastic new talent for old scratch let's make him more spooky very nice i love it and that means our core group is going to get trained up to at least level 60 nice new talent let's make him more spooky and of course for the for the great mormo who's been with us since the beginning loving it loving it loving it Okay, well, I think that's enough for that right now. Let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Swidget. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. Do, 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 do. Looks like he's in the waiting room. I love, I love the, I love this, um, this area in here. Very, very cool. Ah, Captain, the uh, pirate, is it? You're back, I see. Uh, have you won your commission? Ah, yes. Very good. Very good. In your absence, we've begun Mr. Beard's trial. It hasn't gone very well, I'm afraid, but it's almost over. Let's withdraw to the courtroom. 
The recess will end shortly. Oh, that's right. We're, we got the trial sequence to go through still. Okay. Not a problem. I love the glass prison. This is like one of the coolest places I think they've, they've built in, in, the, in the spiral. Very cool. It'd be nice to visit this as a wizard, too. Ah, here we go. At the trial. You're back. Thank goodness. Meow, meow, meow. I was worried you'd left me in this dreadful place. Oh, the horror. The horror. You've secured my release, right? When can we go? Can we go now? We need to go now. I've got to get out of here. You don't understand. Order! Come to order! The recess is ended. Docker 24601. The Crown versus Captain Catbeard. I don't think I noticed this before, but look, all of our crew sitting out there in the um, gallery. Awesome. Crown Council Waters proceed. My lord, in summation, our case is simple. The vile villain who stands before you now is one of the most perfidious pirates in all the realm. He stands accused of 458 counts of piracy, 772 counts of smuggling, 96 counts of tax evasion, 10 counts of high treason, and one count of impersonating the royal monarch. Really? He had to go there? Physical evidence, unimpeachable eyewitness testimony, and the defendant's own words prove him guilty beyond any shred of doubt. Wow, good thing um, we're here. You know, poor Captain Kidd, he was hung. The prosecution rests. And the defense. Your closing argument? The defense waives its right to closing argument. What? Very well, then. I shall pass sentence directly. What? Catbeard is now looking a little worried. The evidence before the court is incontrovertible. There's no need for the jury to retire. What? <laughs> In all my years of judging, I have never heard before of someone more deserving the full penalty of law. What? A uh, point of order, my lord. Don't interrupt! You are out of order, sir! I was merely going to point out that, uh, passing sentence on my client would be, uh, a terrible military mistake. You go switch it. What?! Indeed. As you know, my lord, we are at war. Every able ship captain is needed to defend Marleybone from the Clockwork Scourge. Every last one. My client, uh, is an able captain. According to royal decree, he may be released for military parole in the custody of a Royal Navy captain. This is outrageous! No captain in the Navy would ever work with this blackguard. Well, maybe not any captain. Not so. This captain here stands with a full commission and has pledged to take Catbeard into his crew. Is this true? It is! Indeed it is. My lord, I urge you to immediately release my client into active military service for the defense of Marleybone. I must also point out that the odds of my client surviving the final battle with the clockworks are low, practically non-existent. Therefore, my lord, I suggest that releasing Captain Catbeard under military parole is, in fact, tantamount to a death sentence. In this Marleybone's darkest hour, we must all do our part. Very well. The defendant is released into this captain's custody. Case dismissed. Off you go, then. Switch it, you've done it. I never doubted you for a second. Ah, thank you, Mr. Beard. And now, Captain, there are some matters I must attend to. Mr. Beard and I will meet you in my office. There we go, guys. We have now officially grabbed Catbeard. Well, or should we say almost there? We have to we have to go pick him up now. So let's head over there in that direction. Do 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 do
Fantastic, guys. Hey, just a reminder, I tried to do some streaming every Wednesday night, so Pirate 101. So um, last week, I had a bad week because I had school stuff I had to take care of. You know, real-life jobs do take precedence. But I should be back one stream this coming Wednesday night, so I hope to see you guys there. Bring your, bring your pirate. I should be running around with my privateer who i'm having a lot of fun playing with and um if you have a pirate that's around that level i'm still running around in um in skull island you are more than welcome to quest along with me and stuff very cool very cool so let's head on up here to switch its office which is this one right here there we go ah captain i'm so glad to meet you again in civilized surroundings now about my piece of the map. As promised, I'll tell you where it is. Yeah, and and who's guessing that it's not easy to find and it's going to be a long, drawn-out process of getting to it? Who's willing to bet that? I'm willing to bet that. Let's see. Let's see the truth. Captain, I'm afraid I haven't been completely honest with you. No surprise I there. I had a piece of Marco Pollo's map, but I lost it in a way to the Captain Gun. You have it. In fact, you've had it this whole time. See, I told you it was safe. Nothing is ever as it seems, especially when Catbeard says it. You lying skunk! I say we rips his ears off, Captain. I'm half a mind to let them do whatever they want to him. No, wait, I'm sorry. I regret misleading you, but I had to get out of that place. You belonged in that place. You know what you've done, you strutting peacock? You started this war. How many have suffered for your little games? You're right. You're absolutely right. But your efforts to free me have helped set right some of my terrible mistakes. Now that I'm free, I hope to do more. Under your command, of course. I know we've gotten off on the wrong foot, pirate. I'll make this right. And there we go. We have now picked up Capier. So let's take a moment to look Much at Capier. Much as I hate to admit it, I approve. Captain Kitty here ain't the first vile blaggard to earn a second chance on this crew. You would know, wouldn't you, Ratbeard? And he will not be the last, I think. All is not lost, my friends. I may not have a piece of Poyo's map anymore, but I know where you can find one. Argos the Cyclops was Poyo's helmsman. Not the brightest beacon in the lighthouse, but great in a fight. And those muscles. He has a map piece. Cyclops, very strong. How do we find him? He's in Aquila. Aquila? No, Aquila. Land of legends and heroes. The great empire of the eagles. Fine place, if you stay clear of the monsters. I presume you have a yellow windstone. Good. The quickest way there is via Monquista. We should have no problem getting past us through the storm gate. Remember Gortez? He's now king of Monquista. He won his war. Well, let's go then. And there we go, guys. We have officially finished Marleybone. Fantastic, don't you think? Okay, so, well, let's go ahead and actually first, let's not forget to take care of our cat. We got some, we have a new companion. Yep, there he is. There's Catbeard. He's high level Catbeard. We're going to put him, we'll leave him there. So let's go ahead and set him up. Now, Catbeard is a privateer. So... Um, we want him to be good with Bladestorm, right, and Repost. In fact, the better he is with Bladestorm and the Repost, the happier I am. Okay, and then let's see here. We, um, he gets his fight from Spirit, so we're going to go ahead and get his, um, Spirited up, right. And um, we want him to be tanky, so let's make sure he's armored. And actually, we want his attacks to be pretty good, so let's make sure his attacks are pretty good, too. Yep, get that rough up, and then um, armored, because we want him to be tanky out there. There we go. Ready if you are, 
Let me know down in the comments, how would you buff out Catbeard if you happen to make that choice? Now, I'm thinking the next best thing is to make him dodgy. Yeah, let's make him dodgy. That way when people are trying to hit him, he's able to get out of the way. Because I think privateers work really good as tanks. Okay, and I think we'll leave it at that. Okay, so if he's hard to hit, he's going to be the job. He's going to do the job of the tank, and it looks like he does have an epic strike. So that that looks like that's going to work. I think we have got him ready to go. Okay, so we have to talk to Mandimus and Monkeeson City. I think the quickest way is going to be able to is just going to go ahead and hit up on instead of sailing there. Um, let's come back here and let's take a. Let's do some fast portal travel in that direction. Uh, I guess we could have done this in Marleybone too. I forgot they have a portal there, but this will be probably just as fast. This is assuming we have enough gold. I did spend a lot of gold on training points between episodes, but let's let's see where we're at. Go, 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 Bonobos Abbey. Already starting to earn that gold back. That's good, because we may have to upgrade a ship in the near future. I did do quite a few ship upgrades, so um, we're in pretty good shape. We just have to get over to our friend Gortez. I think he's still holding court in the same fortress. So this will be a little bit of a flight, but there we go. Yep, so there's a ship right now looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Tell you what, this has been a pretty good one, but we got to start saving up because I'll tell you what, in Aquila, the ship fights can be pretty tough and upgrading to an Aquilan um, ship is actually really, really useful and pretty helpful. Um, I wonder, is that the ship? Is that the location? I think it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping so. It's pointing in the right direction. Do, 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 do. I hope it's not on the other side. No, that's La Mancha. Oh, yeah. That's the worst part about the way they like set up these sky areas here in um here in here in uh, here in Monquista is that the arrow points at a certain area, but it's actually on the other side of that. So we'll just sail over there in that direction. Tell you what, I would love to see us go to Monquisa. There's been some good news, guys, for Pirate 101 this year. We're going to get us some new arc. I, it seems like there might be a chance we're going to Tartarus or something like that. I don't know. I'm super excited, guys. Not to mention, they might move the paywall back a little bit further in on um, Pirate 101. So if you want to, so if you. Um, don't have a subscription, you want to play a little bit more Pirate 101, see if you like it. That's some good news. I think there are some really great new possibilities, so uh, keep your eyes open. I think Pirate 101 is probably one of the, is, is well, they're both great games. King's Isle did put out two really great games in these MMOs. But I would love to see more of the Pirate 101 story, more of the original quest line completed. You know, as I think anybody who's actually had a chance to play the game um, would agree, because it is such good storytelling, lots of fun, um, very well-crafted game. The fight systems are great. There's lots of awesome meta for different ways to build your pirates. Um, it, it's, I'll tell you what, this would go down as one of the best crafted things they've ever done. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to Mandimas. Wow, took us forever to get here. Oh, that's right. I have to wear the um, I have to I have to wear the monkey mask to walk around here in the capital. I forgot about that. Okay. The Chamberlain. What business does a clumsy giant like you have in the heart of Monquista? You would dare address a resplendent king and pirate? It is you, Mandemus, you fool. Welcome our guest. I like Cortez. I present his singularity, Gortez Golden Monkey, first of that name, King of Monquista and Skull Island. Take heed! And? And her sublime transcendency, Eleanor, Queen of Monquista and Skull Island, Lady Defender of the Faith. Take heed! Ah, my old friend. It has been too long. Come, we have much to discuss. 
Let's talk to our good friend Gortez. So, what brings you back to Monquista, little pirate? Little pirate, you are back. It has been too long. And you have brought Catbeard, I see. This is quite a reunion. Let me guess. You need travel papers, right? You want to go through one of my storm gates, no doubt. Returning to Avernus, aren't you? Aquila. Ah, a land of heroes and adventure. Oh, how I long to go with you. But I cannot. Kings have no time for adventures. The noble houses are finally in line, but now the holy church is in turmoil. The banana seed heresy is turning the entire kingdom upside. Uh, uh, come now, husband. I'm sure our young friend here has no interest in such boring matters of theology. <laughs> no, of course not. You seek permission to go to Aquila, I give it freely. Farewell. Return any time with tales of high adventure. Wow, first ever, easiest quest grab ever. I didn't have to go fix anything. I didn't have to go do any si any any um additional quests. Although I do get embroiled in the th in, into the theology at some point. I, I don't remember. Or maybe there's a side quest. Let's see if any more side quests appeared after I did that. Oh, yep, there you go. Um, Admiral Zhao. Uh, Avery's court. Yeah, he's not that big of a deal. He's just trying to get me to do stuff. Mickey Dugan. Nah, that's not that big of a deal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no bit, no biggies there. It's time to sail, guys. Aquila. Aquila, the land of giants, the land of heroes, the land of the gods. We are heading off in that direction, so let's head over there. So I think it's pretty exciting. I, I don't know if it's true, but I heard a rumor that that um, we, that we the new main quest, that the, the, should I say, the extension of the main quest line for... Um, Pirate 101 is going to involve uh, Aquila, maybe. You know, now they they did look, throw hints out there um, last time I read that you know the new quest line extension isn't necessarily going to give us a new world, but it's going to be extended through the worlds that we have initially. So, not that we won't see some new worlds. I think we'll definitely see some new worlds as they as they as they as they decide to prep for Pirate 101, and hopefully with everybody. Hopefully, if they can. can build up the player base and everything um, we might be able to see that so I'd be pretty excited for the final results of all that well you know what we um, we messed up let's turn back around because yeah yep I I my quest finder yeah yeah stuff happens stuff happens okay super exciting you know guys I, th we have been um, I don't, we haven't had to have a fight yet. This has to be the most interesting Pirate 101 episodes that I've done in a while. We haven't had to fight. We've just been running around talking to people. How bizarre is that? Well, um, let's keep going, guys. So let's see. Here. They we have to go the Achaean way. Very nice. And I think it's probably going to be one of those things out there. Yeah. So yellow, yellow um, stone, I think. Yeah. So the yellow gate. Yeah. The last one, the, the one we just went into was the one that takes us back to Skull Island, which is not the one we needed. Nope. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, no. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. The downside is all the travel time. Yeah. All the travel time we got going on here. Yep. My goodness, we're still a ways away. Still 10,000? Yep. I, t I try to watch that. Very, very good. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about the um, the possibility to continue our quest. So the question then becomes is how much of the main quest line, right, how much more adventure do we have in the main quest line? How far have they written it out? I mean, have they had a conclusion in mind all this time and they just decided to stop doing development on it there for a while? I, I think these are questions that need to be answered, right? Don't you guys think? You know, I mean, how close were we to having a completed um, Pirate 101 quest line when they decided to um, waste all their money and do try to do mobile games for King's Isle, right? And they decided to take a really great world and stop developing for it. I don't know. I don't know. It's a good, good question, I think. I think it's worth asking. I would love to hear more from the devs. Probably won't hear any more on that, though. Nah, probably not. Oh, my goodness. I think that might be our location straight ahead. Fantastic, guys. We are going to get to Aquila today. There we go. Yeah, it looks very yellowish, too. 
Let's see here. Let's just make sure we don't run into anybody, such as a, um, yeah, a flying fish. Oh, yeah. I don't want to start any fights if I don't have to. There we go. And... I love going through. There's Aquila. I love the big statue there. That's awesome. There's Crocotopia there. Let's see. Are there any more worlds? There is on um, Valencia. Up there is Dragon Spire. Very cool. I love catching the different worlds in the spiral as we move through this section right here. Because it's pretty cool which ones are close by. Very nice. Are there any more out there that we haven't spotted? None below. They all tend to be like floating up and over usually. Avernus. Yeah, that's one to Dragon Spire, right? I think. Yeah, I forget. Well, well. Oh, there's Skull Island way back there in the background. Cool, cool, cool. No other worlds, guys? Nope. Doesn't look like it. No other worlds. Well, it looks like we're almost to our destination here, guys. To Aquila. Oh, and. Ah, uh, Aquila. Let's head to the Imperial Capital. Atolicus, an old friend of mine, will be sure to know where Argos is. And here we are, guys. I just want to stop and say, check it out. I love the statues of Aquila. Let's go ahead and head on in. But you know what, guys? We're going to go ahead and stop there. So, this is the Practical Cured Web for, yes, the Witch Doctor walkthrough. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, and next episode, we shall start to explore Aquila. Catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.